Let's package our code as an NPM module so we can use it directly in our example app via NPM link. We will now install three packages as dev dependencies. The first is rollup. The second is the standard TypeScript plugin for rollup. And the third is TSLib, which is required by the TypeScript rollup plugin. So that is npm install, save deb, rollup, then the rollup plugin TypeScript, and TSLib. Now we'll create a rollup.config.js file in the project root. And within this file, we'll first import the TypeScript plugin. We'll import the package as pkg from package.json. We can't use the word package directly since that's a reserved word. And we'll also need to assert type JSON for a JSON import. And here we'll set up our config. So we're going to export default. First, we need to define an input for a roll up to go off of. That will be an index.ts file, which we have yet to make. And the output for the file will use the package.json main key. It's going to be a module. We do want source maps. and we'll set strict to false. We need to pass in the TypeScript plugin, which is a function, and the external library that we're using is React. Next, we need to update our build script and instead of using TSC, our build script becomes rollup-c. The dash C flag tells rollup to use our rollup config file when packaging. Finally, we'll need to expose the files that we want to package. In this case, the use please stay.ts file. And to do that, we'll create a new index.ts file right in the SRC root. And from here, we'll just export use please stay from hooks use please stay. We'll also need to allow synthetic default imports for rollup to work since React itself is a synthetic default import. So we'll need to add that to our TS config. And we'll also set declaration to true. That means TypeScript will create a type declaration for us when rollup does its building. And outside of the compiler options, we should also be sure to define and tell the TypeScript compiler which files we want to include and those we wish to exclude during the build process.